This your boy Sip the Surgeon. Right now you inside the Art of Barbering with All Go Down at where we put out them five haircuts, make everybody happy. Uh, but I'm gonna talk about, you know, how it all got started. This is my first time when I opened up the Art of Barbering that I was able to work with barbers uh, other than myself. I'm, I'm from a background of working in a barber shop just by myself. So when you're working by yourself, you think your work is the best that, that it is or whatever until you start working around other barbers or whatever and you start learning from other barbers. You never get too old to learn in this barber game. If you, if you think you know everything, that's the first indication that you don't know what you're talking about. I got 11 barbers in here. My boy Devante, that I born and raised him, that's why he can cut good as he can. Devante, you still got to learn from the master, baby. I got my boy uh, Five Fade from New Orleans. He brought that New Orleans heat down here. They call him Mr. Five Fade. And when I first seen my guy, in or get on stage, I, I wasn't expecting him to put the type of work that he put out. Cause you know we've been in the shop always high side. If you come up in here, you can't cut. We're gonna let you know. It's like a competition every day up in here. But man, when he, I saw the haircut that he did, and he did it on stage, and how well he did it. I, I was proud of him, man. He said, damn, that's a, that's a product of the, the Art of Barber. Made us look real good. So he probably already knew what he was going to do, but me just seeing the finished product, I, that was good. We got another guy in here named uh, Reggie. We call him Mr. Fresh. He got that, uh, that, that Kansas City swag or whatever. So when you come to the Art of Barber and you want the, the, the fresh designs, we normally, he normally do all the young hip hop t uh, styles or whatever. Then I got my boy uh, Tony up in here. Tony was my first model that I ever used, and that was in 2006. And uh, I'm talking about from Atlanta to Oklahoma, Tony went there with me, he was my model, and we were busting their head. So I got my boy, Mr. Will, Will, I will fade your head, call him Spike, my boy from East Texas. I'm talking about here. He the first dude I ever seen with some swingers on a, a Chevy uh, station wagon. I'm talking about, he had so much pimp to him, man. That's my boy Spike, man. I, I like Spikes. When, when I'm gone, I know Spike gonna ke keep the shot right for me or whatever. So Spike is my guy. Then my next guy is uh, Rio. He, he from uh, Vicksburg, Mississippi. That's one of them, another one of them Mississippi boys down here putting out that fire down here, man. Shout out to my boy Rio. Then I got my boy Monroe. He, he boxed and he uh, gave the uh, best haircut you ever had. So uh, my boy Monroe, he ain't here putting in work. I got a couple new barbers up in here. I got my boy Mike. Mike, Mike got every clip you ever want to buy or ever, you ever want to see. If, you, if, you, if you're missing some products or, or whatever, you can always go to Mike because he going to have some neck strips, some razor blades, some blades, some, some clip of something that you can use or whatever. Then I got my boy, uh, Dub, we call him Double D. Double D coming here fresh, polo down, polo socks, polo tees, polo everything. I think he got some polo clippers or whatever. The best thing that I like about my boy Double D, man, I'm talking about, he wipe his station out every day. I'm talking about one of the cleanest, uh, neatest barbers you, you'll want to have in your shop or whatever. Shout out to my boy Double D. Now, my boy Big Zo, Renzo. Zoe haircuts. He don't want to listen to number pimp C up in this thing or whatever. But uh, I like my boy Zoe. If you want that Dallas swag or whatever, you want that Texas swag when you're going somewhere, you gotta go to my boy Zoe. He gonna lace you right up. Fuck me, you 